to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And tonight is the first night of spring. Tomorrow is the first day of spring, which I'm super excited about. It's been beautiful here um, in terms of weather. So I'm super excited for the spring. And so I figured I would kind of show you um, my go-to spring look. Um, this one's a little different. I'm basically going to focus on my skin and getting really nice and warm and glowy and then do a really pretty easy um, pink eye. That sounds gross. Not like pink eye, but like a pink eyeshadow look. Um, I think it's gonna be really pretty and I'm really excited about it. So let's just dive right in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face. And I have two of my favorite primers. Um, the first one is a pore filling primer. You would have guessed it. It's the Porefessional. I love the Porefessional. I feel like not that many people use it anymore. There's there's a ton of great pore filling primers out there now. Um, but for me, in the summer and in the spring, when it's hot out, a pore filling primer really does help kind of um, make my makeup all stick to the places I need it to um, that I might have issues with makeup uh, sliding around. So mostly, it's just this very center of my face. My cheeks don't really um get that bad or dry or anything um or like sweaty for me because I have dry skin this just kind of helps like even my texture out too that's the other reason I like it so I'm kind of just putting it right down the center of my face all right and then the other one I'm using is another one of my favorites this is the Becca first light priming filter this is one of my all-time favorite primers so good it's so pretty for the summer um and the spring because it just gives you a really nice glowy base to start with um and I just really really love this one and the other key for me for spring and summer makeup is getting my skincare routine really well so I already have my whole skincare routine done um, and I have SPF on, which is super important. Even if your makeup has SPF in it, I would recommend putting like an actual SPF on first so you know you're really protected from the sun. Obviously like the SPFs don't like layer and like if you put on 30 SPF and then put on makeup with 30 SPF in it, doesn't mean you have SPF 60, just means you have two layers of FP SPF 30 if that makes sense. So um, I'll talk about how I reapply SPF later as well with a full face of makeup on. So um, in the spring and summer, I love to use lightweight foundations or BB cream, CC creams, anything like that. And one of my favorite kind of layer weight foundations is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I have it in the shade Ginger 06. This is a little bit deeper than my skin tone on my face and neck. But that's because I put lots of SPF there, so my face and neck tend to be lighter than the rest of my body. So I just got a little bit on my fingers, and I'm going to just use my hands to apply it and then even it out with a sponge. And this doesn't have a ton of um, coverage to it, but that's kind of what I like in the summer and spring. Just something to even out my skin tone a little bit. Um, I'm going to be a little bit of coverage, but not be too heavy. All right. So then I'm going to go in with my concealer next. Again, one of my favorites is the Instant Age Rewind. I find that this isn't too heavy for the spring and summer. Um, it doesn't get like runny or gross even if I don't set it. So I like that. I'm just going to put it everywhere. I need a little extra coverage. And then I'm gonna use my sponge to blend out on my face and then my fingers to blend out around my eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit more to the spot right here. I just have a little extra breakout right there. So 
All right. And then I'm gonna, like I said, use my fingers. I just find that this is the best way to kind of warm up the concealer and get it blended in more, like most, the most seamlessly on the under eyes. I find with a sponge, obviously it does help blend it out and stuff, but it doesn't warm it up enough to my skin. So I just enjoy using my fingers on my under eye concealer. And then I'm one of those people that even in the spring and summer, I love to use cream products. So I'm gonna still go in with my cream bronzer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation. Um, I'm gonna put it a little bit higher up on my cheeks just to give me that really good sun kiss sort of look. And I'm gonna put a little bit down the no bridge of my nose too. I don't like to contour my nose. I don't think it helps my nose any, um, but I do want it to kind of look sun kissed. So again, I'm gonna use my sponge to blend that out. I'm not being too careful with keeping it like in a certain area. I want my skin to look nice and warm and bronzed. So this is just the first step in kind of warming the skin up and looking really nice and sun-kissed without having to, you know, skip my SPF and go in the sun because that's like one of the leading causes of aging and obviously skin cancer and all that stuff. So if I can look warm and glowy and still have layers and layers of SPF, I will do that. All right. And then I'm going to go in with kind of like a two for one sort of product. This is the NARS Multiple in Hot Sands. And I love this because the color is kind of like that perfect pinky color for my cheeks, but it's also got a great glow to it. So I'm just getting some on my sponge. And I'm just gonna kind of tap that all on my cheek right here, just to kind of give me a little glow. It's just pink enough. And obviously I'm gonna put other uh, another blush on top of this, but just to kind of start again, warming up the skin and getting that really beautiful spring glow. Again, just a little bit on my nose and on my upper lip. So that's all I'm going to use for liquid products. Um, and then for me, I like to use different setting powders depending on what part of the day I'm in. If I'm first applying my makeup, I already have my SPF on. The um, Complexion Rescue has some SPF in it as well. So I'll just go in with a normal powder like my e.l.f. Uh, Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. I really like this powder. It's nice and lightweight. It's finely milled so it doesn't feel like too cakey on my skin. Um, but if it's like the middle of the day, I don't need to reapply SPF. If I want to go for a powder, I'll use something like this. This is the Derma E Essentials Sun Protection Mineral Powder, and this is SPF 30. Um, I definitely don't think a powder or a spray that I'll show you later should be your first form of SPF. It should definitely be like an actual SPF now that's all it's formulated to do. Um, but if you're reapplying throughout the day and you have makeup on, this is definitely a great way to go. Um, and it's really important to reapply your SPF even if you have makeup on. So I do like this one and it's not as expensive as some of the other um, mineral sunscreen powders out there. So I really like this one. But for now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Prime and, uh, Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. So even in the spring and summer, I don't find that my makeup moves around a lot. So I'm just gonna get that on my cheeks and on my temples where I'm going to kind of um, put more powder products. If it's like super hot and I'm gonna like be outside a long time, I will set my whole face, but most days just setting my cheeks and my forehead is good enough for me. And then I always like to set my neck a little bit too, just cause that's where my clothes hit up against. So that's all I'm gonna set. Um, I'm gonna stick with the complexion. I'm going to use 
one of my favorite bronzers. This is the Butter Bronzer. I have it in just the shade Bronzer. Um, I've talked about it before, their shade range is kind of weird and named funny things. So this is just the original bronzer shade. And again, I'm not going to be too precise with this. I'm just going to really warm up the skin. I do use um, gradual tanners on my body, so or like fake tan sometimes in the summer. But I do love gradual tan, so I definitely want to make sure that like my face is matching my shoulder and I don't look like sick <laughs> or anything. Like my face is a completely different shade than my body. So love to load up on this bronzer. And I find that the butter bronzer that I can't put too much on, like I can really go in for it and it still looks nice and seamless and like natural. So I love that. And again, I'm just gonna hit my nose too. All right, and then for blush today, um, this is one of my favorite blushes for the summertime and springtime specifically because it's such a nice, warm, corally shade. This is the um, Benefit uh, Box Blush in California. And I just love this one. I do find that it's super pigmented, so I use a little stippling brush like this to kind of sheer it out or else it can be very intense. <laughs> and I just kind of stipple it on. I mean, even I barely tapped my brush in there and it's still super pigmented. And my cheeks do get like naturally red throughout the day, so. I don't like too much blush, but definitely a little bit to make my cheeks look alive. Again, my nose. I like a little bit on my forehead too. And then finally for highlighter, I'm going to use, I know this highlighter isn't sold, I don't think anymore. It's really hard to find, but I love this highlighter for the summer. I'm sure there are a lot of dupes out there for it, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Amrezy highlighter. It's just such a pretty, uh, like champagne gold color for the summer. And I just think it's so pretty. So I'm going to use that. Like I said, I'm sure there are tons of dupes out there. If I can find any, I will link them down below. Um, I'm sure there are tons of like videos on YouTube and stuff too about links for this or dupes for this product. Cause it's such a popular one. And again, it was limited edition. So I don't think you can find it anymore. But, uh, man, if you can, it's as good as everyone says. It's such a pretty color. And I am not going light-handed on this. Um, again, I love glowy skin for the summer, spring, every day. So and I'm going to hit pretty much my whole eyelid. This is going to kind of be my base. I love to do this for the spring and summer. Just use my highlighter as, like, my base shadow for the look, so just kind of get it all over. I think it's really pretty and easy way to kind of set down anything that's on the eyelid, but also give you a really nice um, glowy base for your eyeshadow. All right, so that is the complexion done. So the eye look is gonna be super simple, um, and I think it's gonna come out really pretty. So I'm actually gonna use my same blush, the California blush. Um, to kind of do a monochromatic look. So I'm just going to take kind of a packed shader brush at first and just get that all over the eyelid. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush to blend it out. So I'm just going to take one of my favorite fluffy brushes and just kind of blend that out a little bit. Maybe grab a little bit more so I can get it into my crease. Again, this is just such a pigmented blush. This is a great one to use also as an eyeshadow. I'm just gonna really take my time and kind of blend this so it looks really nice and diffused at the edges. You could also do this with like a bronzer if you don't like pink on your eye. Um, but I think it's a really pretty color for springtime. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. All 
All right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of a shimmery pop all over. So I love this one because it's this shimmery glittery thing. This is Glitter Goals by NYX um, in the shade Met Metropical. I always say it weird, um, but I love this one because it's not like too glittery. It's not like um, the Stila glitter ones, which I love the Stila ones, but I'm looking for a little bit more of a diffused glitter look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna pat that right, okay, let's see if we can do this, right on the lid and just blend that out. All right, that is not working the way I intended. So I'm gonna actually take that just straight on the lid. And then with that flat shader brush, just kind of pat it out, see if that works better. All right, it's definitely not perfect, but it's a little better. It's like one big chunk. It definitely works better if you use a brush than your finger. So don't do that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the California um, blush to just kind of tap over that because it didn't work exactly how I envisioned, but I think if I add a little, yeah, there we go. Just add a little bit more of this on top You can still kind of see the shimmer through it, but it's definitely not as patchy now. All right, and then I'm gonna take my highlighter, the Amrezy one again, and um, put that on my inner corner and my brow bone just a little bit extra. kind of creating a little gradient on the inner corner hopefully you can see that and then again just a little bit extra on my uh brow bone all right and then i'm going to take uh the butter bronzer for my lower lash line i don't want to put pink on my lower lash line but i do want a little definition down there so i'm just taking a pencil brush and uh the butter bronzer i'm just gonna gently go under that lower lash line. Again, this is not very like, um, it's not like a strong color under there, but just gives it a little extra definition. All right, so that is the eyes done. I'm gonna quickly do my brows. Um, so I'm going to use my NYX uh, eyebrow, or eyebrow powder pencil. I'm just going to brush through the brows really quick and just lightly fill them in. I don't like too strong of brows for spring. That's just a personal preference. Um, obviously, you do what you want with your brows. I'm just going to lightly fill in some of the sparser areas. Again, also I'm very lucky that my brows are pretty decent to start with, so I don't have to work too hard at them. So that's all I'm gonna do is seriously, it took me like two seconds. All right, and then I'm gonna set my face. So for now I'm gonna use um, my e.l.f. Illuminate Mist and Set. Let me spray this on, I'll talk about another way to get more SPF um, throughout the day. Um, so 
So another way I love to get SPF throughout the day is a setting spray. This one is by Kula. Um, it has SPF 30 on it. This is not my favorite setting spray. You can um, kind of shake it up to get the SPF all mixed in and stuff. Um, it does have a lot of alcohol in it and that's to help it dry down so the SPF stays on your face and doesn't evaporate. Um, but it does have a lot of alcohol in it. Um, so it kind of burns a little bit for a second. Um, but I do like this for like, again, if I need to reapply, um, SPF throughout the day, this is another great way to go. If I have makeup on already, um, if you have any recommendations for a, a different, a better setting spray than this one with SPF, I would love to know what your recommendations are. I'm always looking for new ways to get my SPF on my face, but I do like this one and it's a good one to like, once again, just spritz your face throughout the day to reapply that SPF and it is SPF 30, which is like perfect. So it's a good one. It's just not my favorite setting spray of all time. Um, all right, so now that my face is all set, I'm going to set down my brows really quick with my NYX Control Freak. I am growing to really love this. Um, I know I wasn't certain at first, but it really has grown on me. It's a good one, I think. If you don't need a lot of hold in your brow, that is. I mean, again, my brows aren't too crazy, so I don't need a ton of hold, but it does give me a little bit. All right. And then for me in the spring and summer, waterproof mascara is key. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational in waterproof. Um, so I'm just going to apply this to my eyes. This probably is getting old. I probably need to get rid of it soon. It's starting to dry out too much. But this is one of my favorite mascaras. It's so good. All right, and then the final step is a lip color. So I pulled out a few different options. Let's see what kind of goes best. So the first one would definitely be like a monochromatic sort of look, which might actually be really pretty. Um, I have a little bit like more of a pinky color, not quite as corally, and then um, kind of just like a balm sort of thing. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go with the pink, though I do love that color. I think I'm gonna go with the balm just cause I don't want like a too bold of a lip right now. Um, but I think this Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Cat Suit in Coral Corruption would be beautiful with this look. I think it would be so pretty. But this is um, the Clinique Chubby Stick in Mega Melon. I love these things. They have some color, but they're not too much. They're just really nice and hydrating and kind of glossy. And I love that they're in crayon form. because it makes it really easy to apply. And I do love a glossy look for spring. Cute, I love that color with it actually. I think that turned out really nice. So this is my final look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I think it's super bright and fun for spring. Um, definitely something different for me. I usually go for browns, but the pink is really nice for spring and it's not too much out of like my comfort zone that I would feel uncomfortable or anything in public. Um, and I just really love it and how it turned out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and um, give this video a like, all of that fun stuff. Um, if you want to join our little adventure family here, all that fun stuff. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.